obviously kids and calves seem to get along well. They, they just seem to have a bond. When we're working cows, when we're weighing cows, when we're sorting cows, they each get a job. If it's nothing but you count the cows or you write down what it weighs and so they feel like they're a part of it. I think it teaches them a lot of responsibility because I mean, it's, it's not something you can start and stop. We met, we, we kind of grew up as kids even together, so we knew we were always going to be together. It's always been like such a natural fit that it's just one progression after another. And the funny thing is, um, I always wanted four kids. I always wanted two boys and two girls. And um, We were fortunate enough to have that. Everything has kind of fallen into place like we've always wanted, which is scary at times, but um, so natural. It's pretty awesome, you know, to have the opportunity to work with family as well as our employees. We've got great people and they care. I think there's not a single person that doesn't come to work out here on a daily basis and really feel like it's theirs. You know, we make them feel like they have ownership in it, let them make decisions and have responsibilities. And uh, it's just, it's a great environment. Love, love the farm life. You know, I knew from the time I was eight years old what I wanted to do and um, never looked back. We invest all our money in the spring of the year, seed, and fertilizer, and chemicals. We manage that crop all season long. We put money out of our pockets into the ground, and we have to wait six or eight months on harvest. So, you know, it's much anticipated and much needed. Well, once the combines start rolling, that's when the checks start coming in. It's the time of year where you don't need an alarm clock to get up at five o'clock. It's like the city folk that goes to the mailbox and gets a paycheck. You're excited, you, you're pumped up. It's like Black Friday for the people who love shopping. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's like. Or, or the kid that wakes up on Christmas <laughs> morning. morning. Yeah. We started off with mainly uh, livestock that I first remember and a garden. A garden that was worked with one mule and uh, one plow with one acre of land for a church school in Dixonville, Tennessee. And from there it just blossomed. And all of this done by hand from sun up to sundown. And my father laid a foundation for us that we've been building on ever since. No, we all plan, and, you know, all three of us for sure want to farm. We're all just trying to gradually just buy our way in a little bit and get into it, but farm ground around here is just ridiculously expensive right now, so at our age, trying to start out, it's pretty tough right now. Yeah, if we have a question, we always go to Dad, you know, <laughs> what do you do here, what do you do there, and he usually gives you the answer, but a lot of it, I mean, you got to dig in and find out yourself, kind of teach yourself along the way. It's not one of those deals where you can sit down and read a book and go out and farm tomorrow, you know. I still love the farm. That's why I'm thankful, I thank God, that the grandkids can be raised here. I think they get a good work ethic early on. Sawyer's already very active. He helps feed the hogs and loves to ride the combine with Don and Kelly. And I just hope that they will carry on the tradition and be as passionate about it as Jason and Justin are.